Welcome to short tutorials. My name is Eva Riazati and I'm glad you stopped by. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created thumbnail for one of my video. This video is about uh, adding a new font to software called Doodly. Uh, I will add the link for that video in the description below. So please go and check it out. And in this video, I will show you how you can work with layers in Pixelmator Pro how you can change fonts very easily and also work with color, how to change color of the headlines, backgrounds, etc. So in this video, first what I need to do, I need to go to Google and find the page that I found Hebrew fonts um, when, I create, when I was creating the video. And here's the page. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this website. I'm opening up Pixelmator Pro and I'm going to minimize it and bring that screenshot to my working place. So I'm going to work with it a little bit. Then I go to Doodly and this is the software that I am working with for that video that I'm bringing the new fonts. So I'm going to also take a screenshot of fonts in Doodly. I'm also going to bring that screenshot to my, uh, to my working place in Pixelmator Pro. So I minimize the fonts and I bring the fonts from Doodly also to, to my uh, Pixelmator Pro. Now I just play with it and make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use this two screenshot for my thumbnail. Now I'm just going to play with colors and add some headlines to it so people can see what is this video about. Please notice that all the time when I want to work with layer, I need to click on it. So I'm trying to add headlines. So I press T letter. And now I'm choosing the color for the letters for the fonts and I choose yellow and I'm just going to type new fonts. And I, I would like to add a layer under it so the letters pops out. So I'm going to add this um, rectangle. I decided for orangey color, but I want to put it on the top so it's more like a headline. So you see, I always have to click on the layer that I'm working on and then I can bring it up. So here is the size of the letters. I would like to make it bigger. So you can see it's huge now. I choose 500 pixels, so it's too big. So I, I go and change it back to 300 and I'm going to add another text. I want to call it Doodly since it's in Doodly software. And I'm going to type Doodly. I don't like it very much. So actually I remember that I have a Doodly um, logo saved on my desktop. So I'm going to bring that logo to Pixelmator Pro. So I click on Doodly and now I can make it a little bit bigger. I like it much better than typing Doodly. Everybody who works with Doodly software, they recognize this logo. So I'm going to use this one instead. And I'm just playing with the headlines. I would like to move it a little bit to the right. So yeah, I have to click on the layer I am working with and then I can move it. Now I I think I would like to change colors of the headline so you can see it's easily done. Also, let's see if I choose different color for the background, how the letters would pop up. I 
I'm back to I'm back to the letters to the headlines and I'm going to open color circle and you can see when I am moving around the colors change and it's easily to see the color of the fonts that I uh, that I am using and it's also very easy to change fonts so I click on the fonts and I as I'm moving down I can see different type of the fonts and I can decide which one I like the best. I think that layer under is a little bit smaller so let me click on it and make it a little bit bigger and again back to the letters to the fonts I I'm going to move it in the in in the middle So now I am going to see again what color of the background I would like the best. You can you can see that I can work with this color circle and choose the color I like and I bring it to the background. The color is added to the color that was before. So sometimes um, it's just a mix of the color. So now when I'm going to click on this red one, it's going to become orange. Also notice that the color in Doodly uh, logo stays the same. It was green background, so in the middle of O, O and D, we still have green color. I like this effect a lot because it brings a little bit colorful um, touch to, to, that, um, to that logo. Here again I'm going to see the color for the background for my headlines and I just move around I just move around and I see that different color changing in the background and again with the fonts um, sometimes I spend a lot of time just working with the color because I think that thumbnail needs to catch your attention and colors are very important. Usually I use yellow, red, orange, or very bright green, something that catches eye so people can stop by and just notice the thumbnail. So this font is too light, so I don't like it very much. So I go and change the background. And I, you see when I go to fonts, Again, I just scroll down and see the different type of fonts. I like this one. So, um, but let me just check other ones. And also this one is nice. So I clicked on that one and it's called, I cannot read it. <laughs> so I like that one. So now I'm going to add another text. And as you notice, this text is going to be typed in a semicircle and I'm going to type upload. And again, we are back to color business and we are going to see how the title would look in different colors. So it's very easy. You just click on that circle and you move your mouse around and you can see how color changes. But I decided to make it even more colorful, so I will change color to every letter to make it to make it more colorful. So each letter I give it a little bit different color. And I want to move it a little bit on the top. And it's kind of connects fonts the both. Um, screenshot that I had one from Doodly fonts and then the Google um, Hebrew fonts
I am not happy with D, so I'm still finding the color for D, for letter D. So here we, here we have different layers, and I am still working on the layer, on the color of, I'm still working on the color of the background layer. So I'm going to try this yellow, to add this yellow, which makes it a little bit orangey. Maybe this green would look nice, it's more bright. I go layer by layer and just check everything. So I put those headlines in the middle, trying to put them in the middle. And I think it looks good. So what I need to do before I upload this thumbnail, I need to make, I need to resize it because it's too big. So I just go and um, press image size and I change width to 1800. Press OK. And now I am ready to upload the thumbnail and I save it in my desktop and use it for my video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope it was helpful. Please leave a comment below and let me know what program do you use to create your thumbnail for your videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm so happy you could watch this video to the end and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.